Breaking tonight, school is canceled tomorrow at St. John's Prep in Danvers after a police officer responding to a hoax threat accidentally fired a gun on campus. Now, the threat wasn't real, but the sound of that gunshot sent students running for cover and fearing a nightmare scenario too many families have experienced nationwide. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Chris Tanaka. And for David Wade, WBZ's Christina Rex is in Danvers tonight where investigators confirm it was a police firearm that sent students into a panic. As police responded to that prank active shooter call, one Danvers officer accidentally fired his weapon. That noise sent students running. How are we going to ensure our children that they're going to be able to go to school and be safe? Emotions were high as St. John's Prep parents hugged their kids after what they believed was an active shooter inside the middle and high school Monday afternoon. I just heard school shooter, school shooter, and we ran all the way down to the first floor. But it was all a hoax, a prank call known as swatting when there was no real threat. When officers first responded, a Danvers officer accidentally discharged his gun, prompting an even bigger response. But no one was physically hurt. My friend heard like a police officer running through, and he had an AR in his hand. And then so we just all kind of panicked, so we started barricading the door at that point. The school went immediately into lockdown, and many students ran out of the buildings and huddled in the woods nearby for safety. We did the, the, practice, the procedures that we have practiced numerous times throughout the last many school years in, in anticipation of something like this happening. And that's the reality these kids live with. Highly prepared for the moment a real active shooter could show up. I'm just really disappointed. Like, we shouldn't really have to go through this. There are 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds having panic attacks. Experts say even a fake event can be traumatizing for kids. If we are left to fill in the blanks, you know, we often imagine a story that's way scarier than what the reality is, and kids are even worse. So what can adults do to make kids feel secure after such a scary day? I think it really is about us trying to kind of bring out our resilience and help them to see the positive side, help them to look towards gratitude. You know, isn't it amazing how prepared you were? Everyone knew what to do. And there will be no classes here at St. John's Prep on Tuesday, but the school will have counselors available for any students who might need it. Police say they're investigating the source of the call that started this. In Danvers, Christina Rex, WBZ News.